What's up guys, it's Shay Reef by The Sea here and I hope you're having an awesome day today. So today's video is about an accessory I recently purchased for my Rad Mission 1 e-bike. Basically what I needed was a cup holder and not your typical water bottle holder, but I needed a cup holder for a cup of coffee. See, I'm a huge coffee drinker, or technically my wife says I'm not a coffee drinker because my go-to choice at Starbucks is a Java chip frappuccino. I absolutely love the Java chip frappuccino. She basically says it's a milkshake and I can't argue with that, but it tastes so good. And basically what I do is add an avocado shot to get a little caffeine boost and it's perfect for me. So the cup holder I decided to purchase is from a company called Portland Design Works or PDW and the product is called the Barista. Before I show you the product, I have to say, I love a good pun. So basically it's called bar dash Easter and it's basically a couple that attaches to your bar for a cup of coffee. So good job on that Portland design works. I absolutely love the name. I think it's super clever. So let me go show you the product. Here's the barista. So let me go and read the back. The barista was designed for one purpose, letting you bring a hot cup of Joe wherever you go by bike. Why? Because sometimes coffee is life and life is coffee. The simple alloy construction is built for the long haul and mounts securely to most flat or riser handlebars. Just drop in your favorite travel mug with a good lid for splash avoidance, ride and enjoy. And here's the back. It basically shows it just comes with one Allen wrench bolt and it clamps right on. So it's your typical cup holder. These do come in two different sizes and it's for the clamps. So there's a larger clamp size that basically clamps on from 26 to 31.8 millimeters. And the smaller clamp is 22 through 26 millimeters. I decided to go with the smaller one because on the Rad Mission 1 handlebars, it is pretty slim um, towards the handle. It does stick it out towards the stem, but where I want to mount it, it should be on the skinnier part, so it should work perfectly. This is going to be a short review because it is about a cup holder. So I didn't really memorize the specifications. So let me go and just grab my phone and just visit the website and just kind of give you some specifications of the barista. So basically it's constructed of 5052 alloy and lined with rubber to better grip the travel mug. Weighs in at 2.5 ounces. The dimension on top is 3.125 and then tapers down to 2.95. I have to admit, after visiting the website, they do make a lot of great accessories for bikes. So I highly recommend checking them out. So let's go outside, install the barista to the handlebars, and then I'm gonna take a nice little bike ride to the closest Starbucks to me. And we're gonna test out the Fenty disposable cups. And then when I come back, I'm also gonna test out a plastic cup and insulated cup. So now that I have the barista installed onto the handlebars, it's time to head down and take a nice little cruise to the local Starbucks and try out the Venti disposable cup. So I'm gonna take you along the journey and just attach my GoPro to my backpack and uh, kind of show you around Cardiff and all that stuff. Man, it is nice and breezy today. So I, I do apologize for the wind noise on the GoPro. Hopefully this wind muff or windscreen will do a good job protecting the audio, but Kind of hard on a bike. Okay, this is where I may lose my hat because it's downhill. Just take it slow. One thing I wish they had more bike lanes, but they don't. So. Yeah, I'm lazy. I always up the pedal assist on any hill. That's why you buy an electric bike, right? Use the crosswalks like a good boy. All right, now we're heading. So this is the community park right here. I wonder if I should go through it to show you guys. Uh, I'll just cruise through the parking lot, hit the skate park. 
That's a pretty awesome place though. I am gonna cut over. We're gonna go check out the skate park. And see it has a nice baseball fields, an open grass area, a playground, and in the back area, or the front, depending on what way you're coming on, uh, is the skate park. So this will be Pood Skate Park. And pretty soon I'll do a little video vlog. I've, I've been kind of injured. We're dealing with some injuries. And it's not from skateboarding, just getting old, have some joint issues, so it's a little harder for me to skate. But um, pretty soon I'll be filming my son and some friends skating at Poods. So here it comes. Uh, if you can see the area, let's go. Just kind of cruise and see if we know anyone. Here's Boots Skate Park. Pretty mellow today. It's a nice time to come to Poods. It's usually packed, but uh, it's pretty mellow. So basically the Starbucks I'm going to is in a local Vons. So I'm gonna be hitting that. Oh shit, jeez lady. Gotta be careful skating, riding your bike through here. Ooh, can't wait to get my Java chip. Just throw it in the cup holder. The barista. That's careful, it's always a blind spot. People always speed right through there. All right, guys, here's the moment of truth. Purchase my Java chip, venti Java chip frappuccino, and let's go ahead and stick it in the cup holder. And, oh, well, there you go. But look at it, the Java chip fits perfectly in there. Now I can cruise. All right, let's cruise by Poods again. Good old Poods. Oh, got the flat bar sesh going. There's Poot Skate Park. I have to admit the the rubber inside the cup holder, it really grips on. Oh my god, especially this plastic cup. But at least you know your drink's not going anywhere with that rubber lining. So that was a nice touch by um, Portland Design Works. So good job there. Thank God for e-bikes. E-bikes are pretty awesome. This is where I practice my drone flying a lot on these empty fields here. Let's go cruise over that way. So I usually practice over there in the baseball fields, either field or there's this grass area. And this is kind of where, if, if anyone's watched my other Road Mission 1 video, this is where I filmed um, kind of more like B-roll shots of my uh, Road Mission bike for the crate video. Little incline, try to bump it up to pedal sys 4 because I'm that lazy. I love my Sony ZV-1, but I have to admit, man, the GoPro is so convenient. Yeah, it is a small, tiny sensor and the cameras, but the quality is pretty decent for what you get. And I just love the image stabilization. I think uh, 
GoPro has one of the best image stabilizations. So I want to try the um, DJI Osmo Action. I know I can get the old version for $199, but just hoping that the new version comes out in May because um, I'd really like to get the newer version. All right, man, my coffee is not moving anywhere. That's one thing with the rubber lining, it uh, won't make it move, but it's kind of hard with a plastic cup to pull it in and out um, quickly. It seems like I have to use both hands to do that. So, I mean, I can't complain though. Like I said, it's a cup holder. It does its job. It does it well. So this is the hill that gets my legs going. But like I said, I have pedal assist, so it's not too bad. All right, let's do this. What a beautiful day in San Diego. So now that I'm back home, um, let's go and test out the other containers I mentioned. I do have a plastic um, Starbucks cup and also an insulated cup. I don't know if the insulated cup that um, I usually use to bring some hot coffee will work um, due to because it's slim all the way through, but let's go and test it out anyways. So let's, let me grab those cups real fast. So the first one we're gonna test out is the Starbucks cup. So here's your standard Starbucks plastic cup. I'm just gonna go and put it inside the, the barista cup holder. And there you go, fits perfect. So two cups. All right, here's my travel insulated cup. I don't think it's gonna fit because it's pretty slim. So this may not work. Let's go and try, check it out. Yeah. Well, at least two out of the three cups worked. It's getting hot out here, a little sweaty from my ride, but it's a beautiful day. But let's go ahead and switch back to the Sony ZV-1 now. Well, that was a nice little bike ride. Such a beautiful day here in Cardiff, and it was nice to get some fresh air. I'm so happy that a disposable venti cup from Starbucks fit perfectly inside the barista cup holder. Do I recommend the barista cup holder? Yes, it does its job and it does it very well. The rubber lining inside the cup holder does a great job of gripping onto your cup so you don't have to worry about it bouncing or falling out. If you're interested in this product, I did provide an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. Please note, I do earn a small commission, but it does help my small channel out. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, please hit that subscribe button and like button. Take care, enjoy your day, and go get some Starbucks.